Hey guys, welcome to another lunchtime review. Today I'm going to be trying some pimento cheese spread. This is the Pauly's Island Specialty Foods. I have the original home style pimento cheese and the pimento cheese spread with jalapenos pimento cheese. Uh, both of them say keep refrigerated, gluten free, proudly made in proudly Wisconsin cheese. Proudly cheese Wisconsin is what it actually says, but um, anyway. Um, this was bought at Walmart. They were $5.38 a piece. And a Boyd recommended that I try these out. Um, I've seen them at Walmart, I'm sure, but I just never purchased them before. So thank you for recommendation. I appreciate it. So I'm going to, I'll go over the original one first. Then I'll talk about the jalapeno one. I'm gonna, you can make this on a sandwich. You could eat it with a spoon if you wanted to, but I'm gonna put it on Ta -ta! And my favorite cracker, Ritz cracker. That's what I'm gonna eat it on. Everything's better on a Ritz, right? That's what I always say. So, um, again, these are refrigerated. They're in the refrigerated section near where the, like the sour creams and the cream, not sour creams, where the cream cheese is and the cream cheese spreads. That's where this is at. So, 10 servings per container, about two tablespoons is 130 calories. So, definitely not a low calorie food. Um, there's the other info. Tammy will have a better picture probably at the end, but there it is if you wanna see it now. Um, delicious on crackers, sandwiches, hot dogs, hamburgers, quesadillas, scrambled eggs, and, and grits. Try it with pepper jelly too. Hmm, that could be interesting. Um, I've had pimento cheese on, um, hamburgers before and that's actually pretty good. It just adds a different, um, flavor and texture to your, um, to your hamburger. So the pimento one, I mean the jalapeno one is the exact same. It's 130 calories. So yeah. So let's see what it looks like. It says to pop these up yeah let's pop one up and it, it should open right up okay there's the regular and I'm assuming the jalapeno is gonna look basically the same except with uh, got some jalapenos in there oh it's got a little it had a little thing to pull off uh, see eh, anyway it works the way I'm doing it Works just fine. There's the one with jalapenos. Yeah, you can see the jalapeno peppers like right there. So I'm gonna take this over the table, get my Ritz crackers, and I got my knives, and I'll be back. All right, so I'm gonna try the regular kind of first, of course. Um, just gonna dig in here with this knife. And put me some on the cracker. That's I love Ritz crackers. Um, I really do think you could pretty much eat anything on a Ritz. There we go, it's plenty of uh, pimentos in there and cheese. Hmm. First of all, the moisture content is perfect. They, uh, they didn't make it too wet, but they also didn't make it really dry, which I've had some pimento cheeses that are really, really dry. Um, this one's really good, it's got a good, um, a good amount of um, moisture in it, liquid. I also really like how the, um, you get the flavor of the pimentos coming through. Not quite a pickly flavor, but you get, you get like a, a little bit of a pickled pepper flavor. It's really, really good. Not hot at all, it's just the pimento flavor. No heat that, that I can speak of. The only thing I can say is the cheese doesn't come across as really strong, but I hate to say it, I've always been this way. I don't really taste a lot of cheese. Cheese just doesn't have a lot of flavor to me. Um, never has. So I really get a lot of pimento flavor and the, of course I taste the cracker, um, but I also get the, the, the mayonnaise-y kind of flavor as well. So it kind of has a little bit of a pickly vinegary kind of flavor, but I don't want you to think it tastes like vinegar. It doesn't. Uh, this is the jalapeno. It's a little bit thicker, like drier than the other one was, but I made sure I got a, a piece of jalapeno in there. Same thing, you really get that, that pimento flavor, which I love. I love pimentos. I don't really taste the jalapenos, but I'm getting the heat from the jalapeno, like it's got a little kick. Um, in the back of your throat a little uh, just a little bit of heat in the back of your throat just a little bit of burn It's not like I'm eating a, a red hot sauce or anything. It's not that hot, but there is some heat there for sure hmm. 
I like that too. Again, really good strong pimento flavor. If you like that pimento cheese, if you want the pimento flavor, you, these are really both really good. Um, the only difference between them is truly the heat level. I don't really get that green jalapeno flavor with the jalapeno one, but you do get that kick of heat, like a little tingle in the back of your throat. If you don't like spicy food, of course, you're not going to get that anyway. But if you don't like spicy food, you wouldn't want that. Um, if you don't mind a little heat, that, that's the way to go. If you like a little spice, which I do, I like a little spice in my food, that's really, really good. And that would taste awesome on a hamburger. Like take a hamburger patty and right, right when it's about to come off the grill, take a big spoonful and slap it on there, spread it around and let it melt just a little bit and put it on your bun. That'd be awesome. Um, the pimento cheese, the regular pimento cheese is also very, very good. Again, really strong. Uh, pimento flavor so it's it's got a good flavor to it and again I like the moisture content it's got enough moisture on there to where you can easily spread it but it's not so wet to where it's gonna soak into your bread or anything like that so I think it's really really good honestly they're really good pimento cheese I wish the cheese flavor came across a little stronger to me maybe that's just a meat thing but but it, it never does it never does when we make it at home it is a stronger cheese flavor but this bigger like purchased cheese never comes across really strong um, I'm going to give these four out of five. I really do like them. 100% uh, would buy them to put them on a sandwich or um, on a burger or something like that. I think they're really, really good. Good brand. Um, I would personally get the jalapeno one because I like that little kick of heat. But um, if you don't want that, get the regular pimento. I think you'd really be happy with it. So yeah, four out of five for me. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.